Hey guys, Michigan Edge here signing on. Today I want to share with you uh, something that was passed down to me. This right here is the uh, Case Slimline Trapper. Uh, this knife was given to me by my dad, and it was my uh, grandfather's knife. Uh, he passed away when I was a little kid, and I just uh, wanted to share this with you guys. You can see by looking at the blade that uh, he definitely used the knife. Uh, back in those days, uh, times were tough, and you bought a knife and you used it for years and, and years, and uh, you kept it clean and made it last. Um, judging by the uh, date stamp here, it says Case XX on the bottom. The knife was made between 1940 and 1964. You can see it's definitely seen... Uh, seen a lot of wear in the pocket. The knife is uh, made out of chrome vanadium steel which is a high carbon uh, steel content. The handle is a yellow Durlin handle which is a uh, very popular with case. You can see there the uh, case shield is actually uh, riveted down to the handle. Okay. Uh, some years back I was in a flea market and check out what I found guys boom yeah the exact same knife you can see there's a little bit of difference to it but it's the same model uh, same chrome vanadium steel and being that this is something that was uh, now, this is something right here I kind of hold, hold, hold dear to me, uh, being it was passed down. Uh, I had to buy this right here. Um, so pretty much the same knife. The shield on this is glued in. Uh, case knives are pretty cool. They all have a date stamp. Every decade, case changes their date stamp. And you can always tell the age of a knife. Though this model right here was kind of, had a long range uh, 1940 to 1964. Uh, every decade, though, they do change the tang stamp. This tang stamp right here was used uh, between 2000 and 2009. And case starts out with five X's and five dots on their knives on top and bottom. So this knife right here, uh, the series was made in 2000. And we take away one, two, three, four... Uh, X's and dots and that leaves us with a 2004 model so this knife right here is made in 2004 uh, kind of cool for collectors that are into case knives because they can kind of uh, date their knives how old they are but a very well made knife uh, cases are very known for uh, good quality Nice, uh, good quality slip joint knives. Been around for years. Uh, still made in America. Uh, you can see they did little things like uh, glue the shield in to kind of save money on cost so they can still stay in business. Uh, some cool modifications I did with this uh, knife right here, or at least I think were cool. Uh, the handle came real block, block, uh, blocky. It was very squared off. I sanded the edges and kind of rounded the knife off to resemble the uh, earlier model. And I also, uh, you know, sharpened the blade and kind of reprofiled that tip down a little bit. You see how it has a little bit of a, a more of a point to it instead of an upswept uh, clip point. Got the brass liners in here. Uh, good walk and talk when you open and close the blade. And, uh, Something very interesting, guys, on this here, just to share with you, I don't know how this happened. Uh, the, the knife here my grandfather carried, you can see right here where the brass pin is. The knife developed a crack in the handle. And uh, this is kind of weird, I don't know how it happened, guys, but uh, right there, same deal with the uh, newer knife. Uh, this knife right here has seen a lot of pocket wear, and it is a good uh, slim cutting knife. Uh, very very nice knife, but yeah, what are the odds of that happening? Kind of kind of strange uh, 
doesn't really affect the knife at all. It still functions good, but uh, I just thought that was kind of weird that the knife um, that's 60 or 50 years uh, newer cracked in the exact same spot. Just kind of a coincidence. But uh, there you have it. Figured I'd pull out a couple slip joint knives for you. Uh, real quick, too, just to show you. This was another knife that was passed down to me from my dad. That was my grandfather's. What we have here is a old uh, colonial knife. And you can see it's also a slim line style trapper. Uh, very slim in the pocket. Nice long blades. And you can see the knife was definitely used a lot. Uh, there's nothing left on the blade there. Um, I believe Colonial, they're still in business, but they went out of business and sold out. They used to be made in the States, and now they're uh, overseas. But kind of cool, guys. It's cool uh, that these knives here, you can have them and pass them down. Uh, in case they're still in business, this knife right here, you can still buy it see on Amazon. And it sells for roughly $30. Uh, but yeah, check them out guys, and I appreciate you stopping by and checking out my, uh, my knives here and listening to my story. Uh, Michigan Edge, signing off.